<laughs> Welcome to What the Flick. My name is Christy, that's Alonzo, that's Matt, that's Ben. Sometimes we all sit at the same table together and talk to you about movies. This is one of those times. So, um, actors and actresses at the Oscars, Emma Stone. Boom, Emma Stone, what are her odds? <laughs> One to six, 600 to win 100. She's uh, a prohibitive favorite. Is Isabella Huppert in the running? What's the story? Yeah, she, the, the, both Natalie Portman and Isabella Huppert have odds which suggest that, that the odds makers are not prepared to totally <laughs> concede that they might not win. They're hedging. Mm. Natalie Portman's yeah. six to one, and uh, Huppert is uh, eight to one. I mean, it'd be amazing if Isabelle Huppert won. She was our pick at LA Film Critics for Best yeah. Actress for Elle. She's exquisite, she's extraordinary. Um, I don't see it happening because the Emma Stone performance is so crowd pleasing. And again, it's an actress playing an actress right. for other actors and actresses. So I mean, yeah. you know, Uper does have that career achievement mm -hmm. thing happening, which a lot, which is sometimes a factor in, in Academy Awards, but where not it's like Charlotte Rampling. Uh, well, I would say, but not yeah. always, yeah. and, and mm -hmm. I think the, it it certainly to not a, not to the extent that an American actress yeah. would have yeah. in terms right. of the familiarity nice with her work. And, nice yeah, if it were an American actress, make it, it would be a more likely conversation, yes. more significant conversation. Uh, 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 Ruth uh, Nega is fifty to one, and uh, Meryl Streep has got no chance. She's, she's, <laughs> She's an also. Well, she's totally overrated. She's overrated, and the yeah, odds right. suggest that she's overrated. In fact, what I, I love the fact that this is the kind of thing Trump would actually tweet about. Like sixty-six to one. <laughs> There's no chance. Who would bet on Meryl Streep? Sad. 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 And Sad. Look, I, to one. look, <laughs> she. she got, this, I am not a fan of Florence Foster Jenkins. She got nominated a because she's Meryl Streep and we love her, and b because she gave that speech at the Golden Globes about Trump and like the, you know you now want well, her to come to your award show. She also got, I think partly she got nominated because Paramount didn't push her in didn't push Viola Davis where she should be, right. which is lead actress. Well, right. no, but they, they did that very intentionally because this was a super right. competitive year for best right. actors. Right. Cheating. And they obviously did the right thing because Viola Davis got a nomination. Right. And, and, and we going to get the win. And we can talk about that as a good segue as a supporting there actress, go. actually. Yeah, I, I, I think Viola will win and should win, but it is sort of the thing like with, with Jennifer Connelly with A Beautiful Mind. 15 years ago, whatever it was, right. where that's absolutely a leading oh, performance uh, and crucial to that entire I, film. I always go back to... is crucial here with, with Denzel. I always yes. go back to Timothy Hutton winning Supporting Actor for Ordinary People, and he's the fucking he's, star he's of the, the movie. He's the guy, yeah, so it is It is strategy. I don't know where I heard this, but supposedly Viola wanted to be in Supporting, maybe for strategy. It wasn't, because usually it's, it's the studio strategizing and posturing or whatever. Right. Um, she, I guess, acknowledges yeah, but that with that's a, big, a better with way a, to win. With yeah. a big star, you're working with the star. I mean, and they're not going to yeah. can't ignore. Yeah. Can't ignore her she desires there. Um, suppose you want to win two hundred dollars on uh, Viola Davis. You think I swear? <laughs> All you have to do is bet ten thousand dollars. Oh my God! Christ. So wait, I can't do math that fast. So what does that mean? Fifty to one or five hundred to one? Okay, wow. one to fifty. Um, I mean, and she deserves it. And I know you guys bitch about how it's a play on film, but she's got those big powerhouse well, moments, but uh, also she builds up to them and she creates this character and she played it on Broadway with him, so there's a great deal of My My issues them. with Fences yes. have nothing to do with her performance. All right, it's, she's go. Or any of the yes. performances, right. they're all really good. It's just I, it's a play on film. The issue it I is have, a play on film! <laughs> no, but here's, Let's talk about things that happened over there that are super important, but we're not gonna show them to you because they're not happening in this living room. They're the thing very that, talky things. What bothers me about this <laughs> is that it's, I mean look, like life isn't fair, right? But it's unfair to everybody else in this category because she gets so much screen time, it's a lead role. Mm -hmm. And it is, I'm really not okay with putting her in this category because you've got people like Michelle Williams or Nicole Kidman or even Octavia Spencer, but like Michelle Williams has hardly any screen time in Manchester by the Sea, but her role is pivotal. Mm -hmm. it, it has so much impact that outweighs her screen time. Almost as much impact as Viola Davis. And yeah. if that's not the key to what a supporting <laughs> role is supposed to do, yeah then why would you give it to Viola Davis, who's got almost as much screen time as anyone else in the film? Same thing with Nicole Kidman. Nicole Kidman doesn't have a lot of screen time. She's got very little screen time. But what there is is church. But what there is is really, really great. You know, and I mean, you kind of see this in a couple other movies. I don't think Dev Patel should be up for Best Supporting Actor. No. I don't think Jeff Bridges should be up for Best Supporting Actor. Those are both lead roles. Yeah. Right? Sonny Jeff Pilar Bridges. Sonny should be up there. But, right. it's, but, it's, but like, those conversations are closer. Like, it's not close. With Viola Davis. No, no, no. Like, it's I mean, not. It's, she won the Tony right. for best best actress. Right, right. right. It's it's insane. Mm. And look, it, I, I, I just watched, I don't begrudge her getting an Oscar. Not at all. Right. I, I, I she's don't. Amazing. She's amazing. No, she should and, win that. And the reality she is, she should, I, a hundred, like a thousand times over, she should get best actress Oscar 
over Emma Stone and anyone else nominated. They're hard year. in different ways, right? Because Emma Stone performance is really physically demanding in, in totally different ways, but there also is the emotional arc for her. They're just they're just apples and oranges. Great. I think, I think when different. you're crying yeah. and you have snot come out of your nose, <laughs> you that's you acting. Should, you should win that. That's, that's quantifiable acting. Yeah. But wait, I, you do that while you're singing and dancing. Like it's not, it's, yeah, it's, something it's else. It's not fair. Right? Like Emma Stone. Like if they were up against each other, then Emma Stone would have delivered the second best performance of this year, but the fourth best performance in the last 11 years. It was just, well, it's bad luck. No, no, like, it's, it's like, what, I mean, yeah, Dustin yeah. Hoffman once said, like, there's no way to gauge this stuff unless you had all five actors come out and all play Hamlet That's and right. then compare <laughs> them. You know, so it's, you always wind up with these super apples and oranges kind of situations here. Um, no, I mean, I, I think I think Davis is, is really terrific and, and uh, deserves it, but, you know, I just watched Network on TCM this weekend and Beatrice Strait famously yeah. won Best Supporting Actress for like a 12-minute performance. Judy Dent in Shakespeare in Love was like, I'm for seven entire minutes. Yeah, right, you know, you so go. I mean, it is a weird, amorphous thing. But again, it's the Academy Awards. Right. They are bullshit. They matter. <laughs> but we're talking about them. Okay, we so, are indeed. Okay, so that's so we're saying Emma Stone's going to win and Viola Davis is going to win. Yeah, we didn't mention Naomi Harris, who, who uh, you know, who was all, wonderful again, in Moonlight. And, yes. And, and, um, but, also pivotal but, in Moonlight. Um, so, do we do actor? Let's do actor. Okay. Well, since we talked about Viola, uh, this is so, so of all the major categories, this is the most competitive and the most interesting, and the one that will break the most uh, that, that could swing and uh, late breaking because it wasn't early on. Everybody right. was predicting Casey Affleck, yeah. like it was a uh, walk away, and he's still the favorite. You have to bet uh, basically. I'll do it sort of the same. You have to bet fourteen dollars to win eight on Casey Affleck. Oh, well, that's if you take okay. that same eight dollars and bet it on Denzel Washington, you'd win eleven. But that's very close. Mm -hmm. Those are those. They're both nearly even. But they're the but nobody else. Uh, then it moves to 16 to 1 for Ryan Gosling. I'm looking at just one site. There are other sites that are a little different. Then 50 to 1 for Andrew Garfield and 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 Viggo Mortensen is actually he's not even he's been disinvited from the ceremony. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, so on. I just, just read that. No, just stay home. he's gonna have a great tux. He, he's 125 to 1. <laughs> so do we all think Denzel is gonna win? Do we think Casey Affleck's gonna win? What's gonna happen? I would. I think Denzel's gonna win. That's who I. I kind of think Denzel's gonna sneak in there. Yeah. yeah, and do do we think that's about the work, or do we think it's about the you know? It's the, never about the work. Well, I can't it's about the work. No, though. It's, He's it's, great in it. It's no, right, but we're saying I'm, I'm, not, I'm saying do, see, the, see, the see, win. See, do we think the win is about the work, or is the win about the the Casey Affleck? The fact that he's not Casey Affleck. Yes. Well, but it's also <laughs> he's not going to get director, right? No, Fences is not going to get best picture. No. Right, but he put a lot of work in that, and he's really good. So that's the award he gets. Right, but, she's right, but the if they're honoring Viola Davis in a way, that that's a way to honor the film as well, though. But do they think that way? Do they think in terms of distribution? Well, like uh, the, well, the like other thing get is his moment from you know she'll thank him, she'll say. That the other thing is there is no they. Like we we, <laughs> we have to remind right. ourselves they don't sit in a room and collude on this. It's a, cabal. a bunch of thousands <laughs> of people <laughs> in their own right. houses and condos right. are filling out the ballot themselves and and voting their conscience right. or their it's their strategy like the or whatever. It's not like the annual meeting of critics where we all sit together and say that we're going to take down DC movies. Again. For instance, yeah, after because we cash our Marvel checks. <laughs> we're flush. I can't tell. Was that anti Semitic? That, <laughs> just very <laughs> slightly. Yeah, it's just slightly. Uh, Only passively. Sure. Um, so, uh, yeah, I mean, look, uh, again, the, the odds makers are likely to be right in the way that they always are, but it's super close. But I would say that still, uh, Casey Affleck is a, is a slight favorite. Well, and what else would Manchester win? Screenplay. Uh, screenplay. screenplay. Yeah, uh, that's where it's. Uh, I think but it's up against Moonlight for screenplay. It's adapted. No, 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 it's, no, original, no, no, it's original. It's up against La La Land. They're, for they're the two. That will probably be what it wins. They're yeah. the two yeah. favorites, like in uh, Moonlight and, and, and Manchester. Manchester for adapted. And so, who do you guys want to see win Best Actor then? Do you want Casey Affleck or do you want Denzel? If we're talking, if we're talking, sh uh, should win, I would actually vote Viggo Mortensen. Okay, <laughs> that's my favorite performance of those five. Okay. They're, I think they're all good in different ways. They all have. I, I'm not like appalled at any of those nominations. I think Andrew Garfield set a new standard for looking horrified in slow motion. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ship blowing yeah. up around. Him. Um, yeah. uh, look, so he yeah. he nails that that uh, Virginia accent better than uh, any of the other Australians yeah. or Brits in the movie. All, <laughs> and, and you know, and and it's because Emma Stone and, and we know Chazelle is. is Overwhelmingly likely to win in the movie and Emma Stone, and it's going to get a bunch of you know, it's fourteen at record tying fourteen nominations, and it's going to win a bunch of Oscars, and, and he's not going to win Ryan Gosling, but he's fantastic in it. Also, I just want to mention that it's his performance is also super worthy. Backward in heels. That's right. That's right. That's, <laughs> that's what he's doing. That's right. That's right. He's doing Roger did up. Um, Rogers is a did up. Rogers okay. did it up. So uh, sporting up. actor, um, Marshall. Oh, right. sorry. I didn't so, mean to so real quick, okay. but I, I yeah. think. Uh, um, uh, yeah, I sort of have the same feeling that you do. If I were filling out an office pool, 
uh, I would fill out Denzel Washington. Yes, we all pick Denzel then. All right. So, um, but I get the feeling you, you in you office pools, Denzel is likely to be the more likely choice. So you might be smarter <laughs> to go with Affleck <laughs> if you're trying to win. And, if you're, and this is not, you know, you don't play these office pools. We don't gamble for fun. You right. gamble no, for money. That's serious <laughs> business. That's right. I don't gamble. Um, right. A supporting actor, Mahershala Smart. Ali. Done. Yeah, this one's over. It's easy. Done. Yeah. yeah. And he's amazing, and he should win. And, and I can't recall who said this, but I totally stole it at this radio thing we did over the weekend. That we, the thing that makes his performance so powerful is that you feel his presence long after he's gone, and you yes. feel the influence that he has on Sharon in his various forms as he develops. And um, he's so influential and so crucial during that one first segment of Moonlight, and so lovely, and so great in everything all the time. Also great in Hidden Figures. So you get- well, Yeah, and also on, on Luke out Cage out and House of Cards, and he, I didn't great, see Free State great, of Jones, great, but- Great, great, great actor. Yes. yes. Um, and uh, his odds are not that, I mean, it's one to seven, 700 to win 100. Uh, Dev Patel is 13 to two, six to one, basically six and a half, one so you know that that means they're not thinking this is over I thought that he was gonna have Viola Davis like numbers I would be tempted to bet this like if I had seven hundred dollars to throw around to get a hundred I don't but I'd be like that's a good Since bet. When? <laughs> <laughs> um, but that's interesting like if you could parlay it if you could if you could tie him to La La Land, you know, and that, you know, now, well, now, now you're getting fancy. Now, with the give, now I've given. <laughs> what's least, your what's your Oscar trifecta? Uh, so yeah, that, that, now, I'm, now I'm thinking. Or is about there this. a superfecta? Um, but like is so many of the rules, the soy here, bomb over the way under. Mahershala <laughs> Ali stays, as, as Christy mentioned, mm -hmm. with you after the movie, uh, as does Jeff Bridges, who should be a Best Actor nominee. Um, and Michael Shannon, who has no chance also, but I mean also just this well, he's unbelievable amazing. performance. Yeah, yeah I mean, the, and, oh, Jeff Bridges is great in this, but I mean, yeah. Michael Shannon's amazing. It'd be nice to see all of them. And Lucas there. Hedges was, was is, is, yeah. she's, she's really quite they good. They all do good work. It's they all good. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so those are our picks, and uh, good luck with your Oscar pool. We probably didn't help We've you at We've been no all, help at all. <laughs> no, what are you talking about? I told you exactly who's going to win it. I said, I couldn't help more. We're confusing. Bye.